Hey everyone, Ricky Fox here. So yesterday, OnePlus announced that they were going to put a new USB Type-C connector on the bottom of the new flagship device, the OnePlus 2. And somewhere between yesterday and today, there was wording on the Chrome Pixel that set some people off. Basically, what it said was that uh, the USB Type-C connector is a new generation of connectors that will interconnect future phones and laptops and other devices. If this was any indication that USB Type-C was coming, um, it was more apparent in Google I.O. At Google I.O., they announced that Android M was going to standardize a USB Type-C connection. So this is already a hint that USB Type-C is going to come to the Nexus, the new Nexus. This is definitely going to be the year of USB Type-C. USB Type-C will be able to support up to 100 watts of power. Now, this doesn't mean that we're going to see any phones charge faster than 15 or 20 watts like they have been for the past one or two years, at least not yet. Just remember, if you want to use this new USB Type-C connector on an older laptop or on a current laptop, which is going to be older in a little while, you're going to need an adapter that's from USB Type-A, which is a standard USB connector, to a new USB Type-C. Because a standard USB Type-C connector will be type Type-C to Type-C, it'll be the same on both sides. The Type-C connector will be able to transfer power in both directions. Theoretically, if you had a tablet that has a USB Type-C connector and you have a smartphone with a USB Type-C connector, you could plug them both together and you can charge your phone off of your tablet. There are so many possibilities with USB Type-C. Imagine using a desktop external drive without having to plug it into the wall. Or imagine using a printer without having to plug it into the wall, just with the USB Type-C connector. Or imagine using a monitor that has a USB Type-C connector that you plug into your laptop and you're getting both power to charge your laptop and you're getting video signal to the monitor to use as a secondary display. There are so many possibilities with USB Type-C. So if you guys have any questions for me or you guys have any suggestions for videos that you would like to see, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Uh, otherwise, you can follow me on Twitter at RickyFoxTech, T-E-K. If you want to see more videos like this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one.